Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. I have modified this thing a bit and uh, today I want to go over this and then we will do preparations to leave Mars. I want to go back to Earth and start working there and hopefully I can keep up the the good working ethics that I have put into Mars. Kind of. I want to build ships again and a lot of ships so we... Uh, yeah, Earth will be the shipyard, basically, so that that needs to be addressed. Good. This thing is important right now, and it's now it's really nice. Alex Hudson uh, came up again. That's the usual thing. I do something, and if something messes up, then Alex Hudson comes in and says, mm, maybe take a look at this, because... Uh, it is the logical thing to do and he was absolutely right i kind of came to the same conclusion at the same time that the wheels were just too too far forward so the the weight distribution was in a way where yeah kind of the the back wheels kept that up and if if weight came into these containers then the whole thing just tilted back and so i did some reworking brought the wheels back and uh, I also put some mess blocks in here just for the yeah the fun of it so that we definitely have weight distribution more towards this area to the front so we fill in uh, cargo here and it doesn't it doesn't tilt back or just stand on its own feet and that's how real uh, trailers work too. They put most of the weight of the stuff forward to the front. And then <laughs> there were a lot of suggestions. Not a lot of suggestion. There was a suggestion on an older video where somebody said um, there's a script. Use that. It is the DAS script. It's driver assistant script or something like that i hope by wanderer 308 and in my last stream there was also mention of it uh, i believe so i also got this script and and <laughs> the, the scripts scripts really control my life now because scripts are so so good now there, there's the with pam with sam and with das um we get scripts that that can take over all the basic functions and con this script can control gyros it can control thrusters it can control mass blocks it can control each and every wheel, I could also have it control the back wheels. I don't have that at the moment. Um, it is set up, so it could, but um, there seems to be a problem with then it locking up the, the front steering. So let us, let us take a look. So before it, it empty, it was a relatively smooth ride. The whole thing worked pretty well and now with the script it works really nice even filled with cargo i can i can't show that to you because i have got each and every last bit of cargo that i want to take out of the mining rig and brought it back but it works really nice it controls the traction of the uh, the wheels it controls the the steering angles and, and 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 again it would even control propulsion and brakes or the back wheels if needed it controls the brake it puts in the parking brake automatically if you need that and uh, that's really really nice so now the parking brake should be activated yes it is so i can just leave that thing behind and then everything works really really nice that's a really really good suggestion that i got there and uh, i think i will integrate that into more of the rovers i need to test it for 
I have it, I think, on the small blue one now. And the other ones will get it too soon. So, um, yeah, you can see that I'm preparing the station to kind of leave the area. I will lock down everything that is has wheels at the moment. Uh, and also everything that is uh, flying around. These are locked down. Just to be safe. I don't want to have the mishap again that... This whole thing, don't know, flies away, rips out of the ground and all that stuff. So this will be locked down too. I will just put some landing gears on it and then lock it to the ground. Uh, that should work. And I will bring in the mining rig in a bit uh, and bring that back. And I can show you what I've done there. I've, I've found a bit of a solution to mark the, the drilling holes. Another thing I did is, and that's... That's a really kind of important thing. You can already see that. I brought in another another piston. So now we can move this thing also to the side. And it makes my life really easy. Now I can park it relatively somewhere in that area. But I don't need to be too precise. And now I can unload this whole thing. It, it's really... It is really cool. I, I did that on the drilling rig too. We will go there in a second and take a look at that sense, I would say. And then I've built a bit of a small cabin here. I had to change the the layout of the this gantry here. I had to use half blocks, so nothing scrapes. It looks a bit weird, but that's the only way I can really do that right now. I could bring it back and have it somewhere here, but it doesn't really matter. So with this setup, if it's in the middle, I have a few meters to each side to adjust. Good. I will take out the truck and we will drive over to the... No, I can't. I can't take the truck. I need to take the small blue rover. Uh, because I need to bring that with me, and the truck has no... There's no way I can attach the truck to it. Okay, I have some landing gear set up. Landing gear 3 is for the small blue rover. Take that out. This one behaves a lot better too. It's really nice to have that script, so if you want to take a look at that Wanderer 308, and it is called DAS. Uh, the driver assistant, assistance, assistance script, something like that. But it's really, really neat. So it it changes the steering angle for this, and again, it also controls the gyros. So if something would happen, that's the thing. I before I was able to just lift the nose of this rover up uh, with the gyros now. The script has control, and I will keep it that way. Uh, it doesn't take over the, or at the moment, the thrusters. I'm not sure if it does now, but it would also take control of the thrusters and use these to keep it to the ground, or if you have back and thrusters to the back, to the front and to the sides, it would also take these and use them to, yeah, kind of not get rid of forces in there but yeah it would it would control the forces there and then uh, use them to to bring it in there there's more it can do there's even an autopilot with the script so i could have rovers drive automatically to areas but i i don't want to do that right so uh, let me let me bring the rover into position so we can drive off with it and bring the whole thing back. Come on. Now bring that up. <laughs> so you can see I've just put a ring around this whole thing. Put a turbine on it and some lights so that we can see if we come up to something we should now be able to see 
uh, a drilling a drilling hole if we really want to drill next to it or completely close to it then we just remove the area but i want to have something like that to just mark the holes i've i've dug and the amount of stone that i get really gives me the ability to just put in this ring without really any loss of materials or something like that and uh, it pre hopefully prevents me from driving into this thing and rushing and burning it it is not nice and it doesn't look fine but it doesn't need to be um just to show it to you here i've done the same so we have we have uh we have the piston this time we have the piston in the beginning and we can do the same here just move the truck next to it and then hopefully we are in a position where we where we can use that I've put in uh, an arm controller. It is a remote control. I can can control from the truck if I want. So it gives me the ability to stay in the truck and unload and load stuff. It to but uh, the last time I needed to go somewhere. Anyways, good. Let us take this thing on the road and just bring it. I want to bring it closer to the base just to not have them completely wild around somewhere for now. If we come back, we can drive this thing out again and then um, then bring it into a new position with new materials. Okay. And uh, the suggestion, by the way, was for this thing to have the DA DAS. Uh, yeah, I might integrate that here too, but this thing is just slow, 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 slow. Oh, it's... I don't really need crazy controls and... Um, at the moment, it still has enough traction to just go over everything. And if I, if I stay consistent with it and remove um, cargo from it we shouldn't run it too crazy into too crazy problems when it comes to climbing up small hills or so okay, life, let me drive back and I will meet you back at the base this thing is now locked to the ground and I have also put some blocks in just to, to not have the problem maybe that I don't know it's that voxels do some stuff I also locked the front down with the landing gear just to be safe so this whole thing now should be stable and we shouldn't see anything rip off and don't know fly away because too many subgrids I hope at least <laughs> now what we need to do is lock down the truck the truck will be just locked down with locked down with some blocks and a landing gear. Change the height of the back here, but we will lock both both parts individually from each other. Makes my life a lot easier. Don't hopefully don't run into problems. So that I at one point can come back and we can continue working. Um, the it was too much fun to just uh, to just build here because I don't know something about the rovers and the base here really got me. I really wanted want to continue that at one point, but I need a bit of a I need a bit of a, the air change. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> change of, uh, yeah, change what what we are doing. Um, is it locked? Yes. Yeah. Now it's now it's locked. Good. Um, we should be safe with this. Uh, the blue rover. I need to just park and put the landing gear back in, and then. We will, uh, we will fly off, uh, prepare everything in space, and have that done then too. And maybe 
we can make the jump to to Earth today so that we can see what happened there. I hope we don't run into the same problem that don't know there was destruction and things that just vanished or something like that. Uh, I I hope um, because I didn't take a look. It it could be I had problems with the with the trash removal of the of the modular encounter spawner. And I told you that it removed the big blue when I was uh, flying around. And that was not too fun. I hope nothing happened to the base on planet Earth or something like that. It, it shouldn't. I brought in an, an old safe basically and just said uh, store this. Lock that to the ground. Okay, do we have everything locked? Just take a look. The big rig is locked. That can stay active. It is powered by turbines and has some things on it that uh, keep it powered. The base is being powered too. The cars shouldn't be too problematic. The only thing that can run, run out is maybe the blue rover and maybe the truck. But they should have enough for ooh, 46 days. Not too much, maybe. Just to be safe, um, we stick a solar panel on here. Just to be safe. Yeah, that and our your for it. <laughs> okay, this thing runs on battery, so for this thing we might want to have we might want to have a solar panel too, just again, just to be safe. This thing has solar panels, so this is this is run by battery, so it fills and then unloads again, so it has enough power. And this thing, ooh, this thing doesn't have enough powers. Maybe. I don't care about the, oh, the, the 240. <laughs> Can I do anything with the solar panel here too? Problem that I run into is that. I hope it's in the sun and I get at least a bit power so this stays active. Maybe I can Maybe I can bring down some of the things that my this will be spotlight off turret off remote control can stay active the antenna off battery stay online this has no required input camera. This has max required input. Um, I will go over this just to see if everything is right. And then we, uh, yeah, then I just fly to space. There's nothing you need to see there. And in space, we will do the same and then do the jump to Earth. When you want to leave one of your places behind, basically, you really have to put in work to kind of, uh, yeah, lock everything down so you don't run into crazy problems. Everything that that needs to stay here, in my opinion, should be again locked to static objects or 
something like that. With the rovers, I really learned a lesson there that you definitely, definitely need to take a look at, at stuff like that. With ships too, lock them down. They, they for one, are a lot better for the performance of the whole game because you kind of it's yeah kind of making them into static grids so the game doesn't need to take too much of a look at it and uh, <laughs> and and they they don't move it's it's weird but the game static grids or grids that are connected to static grids are just a lot more performance friendly um <laughs> the drones <laughs> Just, that's just a side note I have. I brought this drone back to space because I wanted to see if it also hits uh, the big blue. And the drone is not so wide. So this thing came in with crazy speeds and flew past, past, past me, crashed into this here. But I think it slowed down. So the crash was visually really... <laughs> really crazy but it didn't do a lot of damage or no damage as far as i saw it maybe damage that um the built repair system was still able to just repair mm. and then did the whole locking down i kind of slowed them down or this one here at least i'm not sure what the what's the case with it why it behaves that way um, after checking the after checking the script in it again just to see if if there's any problem with that it told me that there is an outdated if the, the part of the script is outdated kind of and the then the 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 compiler says okay it there is something that that works but is outdated maybe use this and that uh, not sure if there's an update for it uh, but maybe take a look at that and if you see anything then uh, yeah let me know if 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 that's something where you say okay that that could be the case <laughs> why things s start to ram thing um this yellow drill will stay here i will leave it here um, bringing it back home. Uh, I don't know. I will build something, a small drill, back at the Earth-like planet and keep this here for now. You can see I've done some additions to it, some cargo containers, and I have put in some of the gravitic manipulators just to have a crazy modded drill with also the, the tiered ship tools and more power and this thing is just it's just crazy these containers are full in seconds works really nice but i'm i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure what to say this is this is crazy good i will bring in this ship here it's not something that i particularly like but for some reason I want to keep it with me. Having, uh, having a elder ship is, is don't know is something something you should have. I have the feeling because if you need to weld something on your own, uh, a welder ship will save you some time. Okay, just park it here. Uh, turn this off. Down, lock it down. So this is locked. Uh, turn off the inertia damper, inertia dampeners. Now we need to bring in a transport ship, and then I need to lock down the. The Duchessa and the drill, we take these again with us. But before I remove my whole test contraption here, it will 
easier. Do I still have a seat on here? Yes, I can fly that back into position when it's needed. Okay. Remove all of this. Again, this is this was just a test. It's nothing that I want to keep. It was just a proof of concept that it is possible to work with that stuff. We can maybe integrate that into Big Blue or into other really big ships that we might be out of range. So let us get a bit closer. This should be cleaned up in seconds. Oh, it, it's already cleaning up, so we are close enough. Uh, the Chessa got just some some clamps to lock it down. I need to turn it around. And I will put... Don't know, we can just put a landing gear here on the... Here on the cockpit. Why? Okay, because of the glass. So turn it around. Turn around. That should work. Then we need to clean up this. Room. Can I move it now? Yes, I can. That back in. That will be just removed. It's again. It's just... Ah, uh, no. Maybe we can just clean it. Ear. Come on. Come on. Hope that cleans up nicely. Now, the drill also just got some landing gears the last time so that's what we will do again and maybe i can this time put them somewhere on the drill would make everything a you okay that should lock down fine i will bring it somewhere close to the top here that was the thing i did the last time because i had the the drills in the way and again the duchessa will be turned around and you something something is working on the on the drone itself good uh into position oh no before i do this i want to load the the green ship i hope that i have everything then can just start i again i want to work on at home a bit and it's it's so weird that i have really built up bases now on mars and on on the alien planet and on the Earth-like planet, and in the orbit of the Earth-like planet, we have a bit of a base, but it is mm, kind of neglected. So that definitely needs to change. Bring out the landing gear, turn that on, then we just lock that down on the on the deck, ready to lock, lock it. Turn off the inertia dampeners because. This thing would be really crazy if it would work against the ship. So, this is locked nicely. This is locked. This is locked. To here, you can't see it because of the green feet. This thing. I don't know what to do with this thing. It's kind of in the way right now. But, uh, this thing needs to be upgraded. Once we go into the whole fleet thing, we, we need to upgrade the blue thing and use it as a, again, as a drone to fly around and maybe bring in uranium for everything and ammo. 
Oh, I placed down these. Uh, Skullbjorn did a bit of work on these these weapons. Uh, it's from one of the energy weapon mods. And he updated them and reworked them a bit. They should work nicely after the after the other lasers just kind of stopped working. I hope uh, the, they will be back at one point because the model was really nice. I hope these can pose as point defense for now and help us defend against missiles or against smaller stuff that might get us. Um, let me lock down everything. And then we make the jump to Earth, I would say. Everything is locked down. And the last thing I will do is turn off this antenna. Where is the... There should be a control somewhere where I can do this. But I don't know where. There. This is... The antenna again that is just here to um yeah to to just be in contact with everything in the area here so if i turn that off then uh back home i shouldn't get all the all the things that are here on my terminal screen yeah except for this crazy uh the crazy uh <laughs> the crazy or detector is still there and that thing really grinds my gears. Everything else is locked down. So now we go into full lockdown with the ship. So close the hangar doors. All the ships are locked. I went around that again and took a look at the... <laughs> at all the... Uh, inertia dampeners. That's what I wanted to say. And now we can just lock down... The ship and fly away with it uh, one thing i want to do is in the front uh, speed it up a bit just just a bit i've worked on this room a bit more i'm not sure what to put in here yet but uh, it is it is a nice room a nice big room i have at the moment no purpose for <laughs> i need to have a purpose uh, we have the we, doors in the top there again i need drones or rockets or something like that hope we don't get stuck in the elevator now uh, everything else should be closed hangar doors hangar doors in the back so we might want to just go down for a moment the music <laughs> The music is crazy loud. I've turned down my speakers so I don't get any uh, any input into the mic. I'm not wearing headphones right now, but <laughs> the speakers for some reason the the elevator music is is loud. I don't know why. But this is closed then, and now off to the off to the earth line. this is closed not that i need to close it but it's it's the ritual going through this all closing down all the hatches and then fly off into space that's normally where you would have a crew of multiple people and you would go in and say okay uh, um, hatch bootable closed closed go through the checklist and then fly off Good, let's sit down. Um, this should be... Ooh, okay. You can, by the way, you can see that I have put some... I have some of the gravitic manipulators put into the ship. Uh, it behaves a lot better. It behaves a lot better than it did before. <laughs> Ah, so nice. Let me turn off some of the waypoints I've done here. So, Mars arrival, we can turn off Mars orbit. That's one of the asteroids I farmed. Is off. Good. I don't want to get all the information when we uh, 
when we fly back to Earth. We don't need any GPS points here. So we can just keep our screen a bit cleaner. Um, the all the all the antennas on screen make me mad anyway. <laughs> so hyperdrive. Uh, we go to uh, planetary base Earth. No, then we would jump into the planet parking position. I need to clean that up. Up with Europa. I went to Europa a bit and took a look what's there. The moons will definitely happen later somewhere in the game, but uh, the auto mine, Chesa, Mars around. Do I have some? Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't know where to arrive. I need to change these positions and go and what is what is that? Can we go and take a look at this? No, oh, that's not good. Okay, so this is not a good point to jump to. Oh, what do we have? Planetary base Earth is just the parking position. That might be something. So let's jump there first and then we take a look if we if we need to go anywhere else from there. Hyperdrive, parking position two, select this, ooh, this might, ooh, this might, uh, might be a point somewhere in between, so, so parking position one could be the thing that we want to go to. I know it's again riveting content here, but me going through okay, that's that seems to be better. Uh, let us jump there and see where we arrive. Oh, it's so nice. But one thing I really would like is if there would be more crazy sounds. Okay, this is not where we want to be so we are still somewhere in between the okay there's RS RSN uh, comset one so the we are kind of still 400 kilometers away from the from the main base so I hope I can figure this out <laughs> over time this needs to okay comset Cobalt, auto miner, anchor jump. This, these are the the whole alien things. I need to get better when it comes to when it comes to arriving somewhere. I could go here. This should be somewhere there yeah that's 200 it's just 200 that is the um, the gps point i made for the laser antenna that's on the asteroid bay so i will just fly towards this make a jump when the hyperdrive is ready and arrive there hopefully ah i can't wait what what went on in around earth so i hope everything's all right there and everything is still in the place where it was when we left so good let me let me go there and i will meet you meet meet you meet you back at the base i slowed the ship down and now we are on our and on our approach let's say it that way so 
I can see that the station is still there, the miner is still there. I have to clean up the the miner in the distance. I had the the an old miner set up that is still somewhere hovering in front of the asteroid at the right of the of the big ship of the big blue. And it's it's so weird. You can see the 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 trench the the miner has dug into into the asteroid from here now i'm not sure i think i upped the render distance and so that might be the reason i will have to definitely remove the miner and replace it um i think we can use pam for that um i'm not sure how much stuff the miner brought in i know that it is hovering somewhere there because I turned off the script. Um, now we have to get into position. This whole ship is so slow. So slow. Oh, <laughs> that definitely needs to change. But yeah, you can see that when you take a look at the other bases, this one is now really underdeveloped. That needs to change. <laughs> um, ah, it's good to be back back home at least that's a neat thing so now we will uh, lock this ship up later we might want to go in and do some rework of the the mechanisms here so that we can uh, do not dock that thing in the right way now i can just go into this we will remove this miner that's there because it just takes up space that I don't yeah don't want to not waste on this but it is uh, not as as practical as the miner we have now and we can just get rid of it the, the small miner in front of it will also go uh, let me let me park this. This should be locked now. I should put my helmet on. And that works. Now we can uh, get all the materials into from the ship and to the base and the other way around okay the lockdown ships are still there i went kind of back here and started to to lock down ships and uh, to remove everything that is not needed the cobra is still here this is still here everything's still in its place it seems so now we can clean this up and rework it and then we can start to build new ships, take a look what the what there's back on the planet, uh, if we can find anything there that's nice, and uh, maybe bring in some of the ships that we lost on the planet to some of the bugs that are in, uh, that not bugs, the, the physics glitches. Uh, yeah, I had to remove some things there, and I would say that's all for today. We are back home. And we can work here now. And I hope I can carry over the energy that I have from working on Mars to back here. Good people. Thanks for watching, I would say. Hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please leave a like on it. I hope to see you in the next episode, I would say. Thanks for watching. See ya, guys.